Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new series, Into the Breach, brought to you by Subset. Brought to you by me. No, brought to you by Subset Games. Same people who brought FTL, a game that I'm. I played a lot of my channel, and I actually absolutely adore and hold as a very high standard of game. And I'm very excited to be playing this. It's. We're kind of missing a little bit of an intro here. Open breach, time to go back and try again. A thing that I like about this game is there is story elements, but it's like little bits of flavor here and there. I, uh, I played this game for... <laughs> I meant to play this game for about 10 minutes just to test it and make sure it works. I accidentally played for like an hour and a half. This game, I'm very excited to be showing you guys if you're not aware of it. I'm very excited to be playing it today. You can tell how excited I am because I've said excited like 15 times already. But anyways, we're gonna be playing this game. It's gonna be like it's a it's a strategy top down turn based, uh, yeah no turn based strategy that essentially sums it up. But it's it's very polished, simple yet deceptively complicated version. All right, so we're gonna be just starting a game. I'm gonna do normal. Uh, you can you kind of do it in runs. So I'm doing normal right now, but we can do hard mode or easy mode later at, as we see fit. But just for this introductory one, we're gonna do normal here. No way in hell I'm letting the Vec take the islands. All right, so we do get to pick an island later, but for now, we have to always start in this first one here, but that's kind of a cool thing that the game will provide for us later. Civilizations of the past had military strength vastly exceeding ours. Good thing we preserved some of their old war machines. There's a combat simulation available. Okay, we're gonna decline the simulation because I do know what I'm doing. Uh, so up here we have our power grid. Essentially, this is our health bar, but I'll explain when we get in the game how it's different than a normal one. Uh, so, we're gonna pick our first mission here. You can kind of, you can cherry pick. You won't be able to do every single mission on the island, so you're gonna kind of pick ones that provide um, rewards you're looking for or ones that have um, maybe the, there's like the warning for different kind of environmental effects that happen on it you can maybe you know you're not gonna have a good time with air support whatever that one means I don't actually know but we're just gonna pick this one for now our technicians recently got an old earth artillery battery up and running please make sure it survives the fight so it just loads up like boom instant it's crazy i i'm sorry i'm gonna gush about this game because the guys behind this they just know how to make a very very simple game so we have three units here um the starting team will you can unlock different teams different units later on but we're gonna drop down in just kind of a random position here so the health bar like i said um well okay there's a, there's a little bit to explain right away, but I'll, I'll explain it second turn. The health bar up here is the health bar that will decide if we win or lose. However, it is not tied to us. It is tied to all of these buildings. We are trying to save civilization uh, and keep our power grid up and running. So we're going to be stop. We're going to either be killing enemies or pushing them out of the way to prevent damage to our buildings, not necessarily to us. And I find that very interesting. Okay, so. This guy, okay, he's just saying, here's a buff boy, that's all they were saying. So, what makes this really weird and makes me actually love it a lot, it is turn-based, but their entire team goes and you can see what they're going to be attacking next turn. As soon as we hit the end turn button, those are going to, they're going to attack our buildings However, we can go over here and a huge section of the game is kind of more based around using your attacks to push enemies out of the way so they attack something else when I hit the end turn button. You can have them attack, you can maybe push them so they don't attack anything, attack a mountain, they can even attack their own uh, enemies, they, they can attack their allies, so it's, it's very very interesting a lot can happen in one in one turn and it's very easy to kill enemies and it's actually fairly easy to get killed as well I've found um, so one thing we could do is these are going to be enemies popping out of the ground and they will new enemies appear every single turn 
Uh, you can stand over this to prevent them from showing up that turn, but it, do it does deal damage. And unfortunately, we can't do it right now, even. Um, okay, so I think... I don't know. I, I don't think there's a hugely obvious move to do here. Except we could... We have this uh, this little artillery here is just a unit that we normally won't have. This is just part of the map. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure what they can do. Oh, they're just a straight-up artillery. I wish I would have used them more effectively. Um... Yeah, so it, it's a lot can happen. Like there's no, the health bars are not very big, especially if you take out their buff boys. Oh, I thought the fire. Okay, so if you attack on a forest tile, it does set them on fire, do a little damage over time. There's a lot of information right away. It'll become like second nature in a smidge, though. Um, I'm not very pleased with how I'm handling this so far. I think we could do this though. Each of these units have different function. Oh, shoot. You can reset your turn once per round. And I'm going to do that just right away because I think I could do this better. Um, I do. I do. We could do something like... This guy could attack you all the way over here. That, that wouldn't even kill him. Hmm... What happens if we do that? It sets that one on. Okay, so yeah. Boom, that guy's wiped out, which removes the buff from all of these guys. Which will allow me to one-shot this fool. Much better turn. Much better turn. Uh, so this unit attacks in a line. Just straight up in a line. We The, the first starting group uh, of units is very simple. They will get more complicated over time. Uh, as for what I'm... The best thing to do here, I think I might have, like, goofed things a bit. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Here's a move. No, I did it again! I wish I would have moved this fool. That's causing issues for me. Because I want to knock, I wanted to knock him over here. Here we go. Do that. And then now we got him in a position where we can just take him out. If you knock people into another object, they'll take an extra point of damage. And you're probably starting to see how it gets complicated based off of, like, it's not a complicated, like, set of rules. But there's just all of these tiny little interactions that, like, you might do a move and then, you know, just forget about one little interaction that's going to come from it. And then get yourself in a bad position because you might think you're going to be completely overpowered uh based off of the fact that they move and you get to completely move as in retaliation but sometimes you're not going to be able to have enough units to cover everything and so on uh so i think we'll want to move you out of the way you move here nope undo that you move here. So we could probably, like, push our guy and get an extra little move out of it in a kind of wonky way. But I don't even think I want to do that. Let's show off this. Let's, uh... Here. Let's stand over these here. Oh, wait, I... hold on. There, there's a good way to do this. There's a there's always a, a better way to do it than I than I find. I know that. Uh, and it is I am trying to explain things a little bit here, and it's making things a little bit more complicated. So we we still have all of our moves. We need to get this guy out of the way. I think that we can just solve that easy peasy. Go like that. Okay, easy enough. That guy's out of the way. We could punch this guy, get him, kill him, or... Nah, I think we should just do that. One less vec to dispose of. Okay, so we can also... 
Let's maybe... We already moved with this character, though. That's... That's my issue. Okay. Move here. Knock him into the fire. He'll get a little bit of a damage over time. All right. All's well. So in addition to... You get to move with all of your units, and then you get to do an action. Um, there's no real benefit to anything we can do here. Unless I feel like pushing them out of the way. For some reason. I'll just... There we go. But yeah, I, I, I'm a huge fan of this game from what i played so far. You know you can tell sometimes <laughs> how much you're going to like it. Even though I'm not usually like... I'm not usually that into turn-based strategy. Unless it's done really well. And I think that this game is going to, uh, going to hold up like FTL. I really do. But... Enough of explaining Retromation. Let's have some let's have some fun with the game now that we got a little bit more of the uh, the basics out of the way. So I think we want to we've been webbed, okay. Hmm. Probably want to stand here, block one from coming in, and I can't no 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 no. See, here's an issue. This is what I was talking about. I was going to go here and hit him, but if I hit him, it's going to push him, and he's going to hit the tower grid instead. So instead of that, I'm going to go down, whoop, go down here and up, push that. No! See? I did it again! That's how it works for me. That's how it works. Um, so... What we could do is, <laughs> to completely do this com so backwards, we'll knock him back into here, set him on fire. He didn't get set on fire yet! Alright. We're a dingus. So, we are webbed, we can't do anything like... We want to defend the artillery unit, but I think it'll be fine if he just doesn't do anything for the one turn. I did mess up, though, and we, uh... Oh, wait. Didn't even attack with you. Can't attack that close, so we were do that. Okay. We made a dumb choice. A couple dumb choices. I thought that my, uh, knockback did, did one damage, but it only does damage if you hit them. So, we took one damage. That's permanent damage. That is going to carry over through our entire, quote-unquote, run. A run can go on for hours and hours... Um, I, like, ideally you want it to go on for hours and hours. Or it could be done as soon as this is over. And a little bit of it, uh, of the, the progression you've made can persist over because you're playing time-traveling characters. <laughs> so, uh, you can have one character time travel and save them. So there's, like, an incentive to keep things going. So that guy's on fire, he's dead. I can knock out this guy. These guys can only do so much. Does this attack do a knockback? No, okay. I don't know that we're even going to be able to... Oh, I thought I was webbed. I'm just going to move my guy in front of this, I think. Because if I, if I stand here and I punch this guy, it's going to get knocked into the building, therefore doing some damage. I think I'll probably try to use my mortar... And push him out of the way. You. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about the interactions going on now that I'm finding complicated here. More than usual. If we just stand and intercept, we should be fine. Victory is in one turn. That's the other thing I didn't mention. It is not kill all the enemies. It is live as long as you can. And try not to lose your units because your your pilots can die. Your units will not permanently die. Your pilots can, which provide large bonuses to... Uh... Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I made an issue here. Should we defend the artillery unit? Save the artillery unit, or save a hit on our grid. Probably save a hit on our grid. We 
royally boofed it up a bit again. I need to start paying more attention to the game here. I say... Goodbye, unit. No, I'm so dumb! <laughs> Bite me! I, I, uh... <laughs> Sorry, artillery unit. Yeah, there is friendly fire. I knew I was going to kill it. Uh, but I thought that I was going to save... The... <laughs> I thought I was going to save the power. I, I'm still new with this. Despite talking like I knew what I was talking... You know, seeming like I knew what I was talking about for a bit. I am very new. I just... I knew the basics. I know the basics. That was awful. That was awful. We did at least gain one of our power grid things back. So we have... You know, we essentially healed up a little bit. This other thing that we lost here is essentially what we could have used to upgrade ourselves. You can only upgrade yourselves at the end of an island. So after we've cleared out all of the stuff, cleared out like the uh, the boss level, essentially, um, then you can spend all of your uh, corporate, rep all of your reputation. Uh, I, I didn't know what it's called. Reactor cores are for your mechs. We haven't seen any of those yet, um, but you know, it's essentially, you can, you can upgrade your units, you can upgrade yourself. Uh, as a whole, sort of, as well. Let's go pick... You know what, I think, like, I've always been straying towards getting more of the power... power, as of my first little bit plan. So I think that I'll keep up with that. I don't really know about the starting placement here, but yeah, these guys gotta go pronto. If you, as long as a tower isn't going to be hit, you should try to get them. Okay. So, I think we can do to get a little bit of multitasking. We can push him out of the way, and instead we can make him hit his ally. Unfortunately, there's no way we can prevent this. Unless we use our brain. <laughs> That's all it takes. Okay. We could have. I'm definitely seeing that we could have done it better. I don't think I want to reset my turn completely, though. But we absolutely could have done that better. Because I can't do anything with this guy. If I punch him out of the way, then a building is going to get hit. Let's just end our turn, because nothing is getting hit of ours. We're going to have a little bit of a mess to deal with very soon here. Oh, he moved. Okay. Huh. Is this guy attacking? He is attacking, but he's attacking me. So what we're gonna do... Hmm. What we're gonna do... He's attacking his ally now, that's fine, I like that. Hmm. I want to knock this guy out of the way. There's no way I can kill him, as far as I can tell. But I think knocking him out of the way is going to be good enough. A little bit of a boosh. And then... You know, punch. Once again... Ah, shoot! Didn't think about that, but you know what? I can take one hit. I can take one hit, because I can always heal back up for that. Uh... It's not gonna stop. Oh, man! You know what? I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna use my one redo right there. I don't like how that turned out. And I really do like that. I, I love that system of it. Okay. So... 
So. I think I like this. I think I like I like this guy shooting his his pal. I I'm okay with getting hit once though, I think. So we can do this. Instead, push him in the way like that. I will sacrifice us getting hit once up there. For every... Th ah, shoot! I'm a goof. Alright. Alright. Bravely holding on here. Or barely holding on. Okay. Barely and bravely, my friends. Okay, so we did take one hit. That sucks. We're not doing so hot. Not really. I don't think we're going to kill seven enemies in three turns, but it could happen. Thankfully, both of these guys are attacking my mech. I like that. But if I move him, then he's... I like when they attack are, are aiming at the mech because that gives you some options a lot of the time. We could... Hmm... I just really wish this guy was dead. But we are now in a bad position here. Just all around. Because I didn't take care of him earlier. But I just didn't see a great time to take care of him. We could... Alright, well... We can't even hit him with that. We can't even hit him with this. The only thing that would wipe him out would be my mech, but that would make this guy get hit. Can't hit him from this angle, because it'll make him run into that. Can't hit him from this angle, because it's gonna... Ah, uh, you know what? I think we just really had a bad run of the mill here. Okay. So I'm fine with taking a hit on the mech. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but what we could do then instead is this strikes me as a big play. Yeah, it's going get to him, get him hit twice, but like I keep saying, I'd rather get my guy hit twice. Also, we can stop it. Or we could stop... Nope, we can't stop that one. It's already, he's going to die next turn, so what I'm going to do is going to look a little funny. I'm going to hit him. Boom, hit him into the building. The power's going to get shot anyways. Might as well get him out of the way. Because then we don't have to deal with him next turn. Honestly, this is really, really bad. This is about as bad as it comes for a start, I think. This is, like, of all of the, uh, the first two missions I, I've, I've got in my hour and a half, these are... By far the ones that make me look the worst, which is lovely. Okay. Going right here. Getting like that. And then we can do this for two damage. You know what? Okay. At least the last... I'm not going to say anything about that. Oh! Lovely way to introduce this. <laughs> There's a very small chance your uh, your tower can resist the damage. Um, <laughs> that is so... So nice. There's a 15% chance to, to resist damage. That would have been the end of the game, and honestly, we would have deserved it. We would have deserved it so much. God, that was bad.
All right, well, let's do that. <laughs> God, I look so bad at this game. My first run was an hour long. All right. Let's go, we need to heal ourselves up here. So this this place has a special environmental effect every turn. It's a, I'm gonna close that so it looks like I'm smart. Uh, every turn, there's going to be a layer of water added on these tidal lines. Enemies that are pushed into the water that can't fly instantly die. Enemies that fly can hover over it. Maybe kind of putting in a, a awkward position for you. But yeah, let's line these up. Our goal is to deal with these guys and set up like a little line in between the buildings and them. Time pod. There's, they do a really pretty solid job at slowly trickling in information. These time time pods, if we can manage to move over it with our mech, we can gather some supplies that will help us out. Some like really handy supplies. And it's gonna get sucked into the water. All right, I want to... I want to push this guy over here so that we can... Oh, we're inadvertently pushed my own guy. It's fine. Yes, we're going to get sucked into the water, but look at that. We got, got one out of the way. It's pretty handy. Uh... Oh, ooh. Strategy! Strategy! Hit him once, push him over there. He's gonna die because the guys kinda try to burrow up out of the ground and hit him. Dealing one damage to him. We are in the water now, which is a kind of a bummer, but I saw a pretty good opportunity. Uh, being in the water makes it so you can't use any attacks for that turn. We can still move. But um, you can't use moves if you're in the water, but you can move out of the water to make an attack, if I remember correctly. Okay, there's a lot happening here that I'm not a fan of. I like the thought of this. I like that. That seems like it's just a, a beautiful move. However, oh, nuts. I want to go here and push him out, out backwards. But there's no way we can get this guy without also hurting our power generator. Am I wrong? Because we can't hit him. Him. Here, let's reset our turn. Let's just let's brainstorm this again, since it's the essentially going to be the last turn, really. Option two. Oops. Oh, this is not the one I thought it was. Oh, shoot. Okay. I think we could actually do this better. We just need to go here. I'm just working through it on the fly. That's not good. Really should enact more strategy. Oh, yep. I already messed it up. We can kill him by going here and shooting, shooting him into the mountain. But yeah, moving our guy into the water up there kind of proved to be a, a big deal in a bad way. So basically, which one do we want saved? I might as well go for this one because it lets us block one of that. Yep. We goofed it. It's okay. We're gonna lose... Uh... Okay, yeah. We're gonna lose a hit here. That does suck. But we'll we'll swing it. We'll be alright. Probably not. We're, we're probably going to lose this campaign pretty early on. Ooh. 
All right, victory in two turns. I feel better about what's happening though, because we can do this easy peasy, knock that guy into the water. Easy peasy, knock that guy out. And then also knock that guy into the water. Yeah, we set ourselves up a really smooth, uh, smooth next turn. All right, we win. I like it. I like it a lot. That was definitely more smooth. And we got a time pod. We got everything. We did We did a good job that time. So we have one extra health, and we get to see some goodies. Loot box time! We got a reactor core. So those are the things that help us upgrade our mechs. Okay, one of our units got an... Upgrade, which means we get an extra mech reactor. That's what his upgrade means. So, here's this screen now to upgrade our units. Uh, we can't upgrade our units on the fly. Oops. Uh, but we can't upgrade, we can't spend our reputation until the end. So, kind of like FTL, if you played it, you do need, um, you can put your energy, your power, you can allocate it however you want. Uh, we could take out the power from our fist and put it into other stuff, but then we couldn't even attack. So, we got one to play around with somewhere. Um, we could add a move to our punchy man. Can't do that, we need... Let's see. I think I'll probably... Two health or one movement? That is an interesting proposition. Oh wait, we can have both. Let's do that. Let's do the dash. Charge any distance before punching the target. That sounds fun. Plus two damage? No. Should we go with utility or logic? Just making him an all-around better unit or a more fun unit? Let's make him, let's make him a more fun unit. All right, well. <laughs> I promise next episode I'm going to get my Garbo together and we are going to be a little bit more smooth. I'm going to show you how to play this game right. Uh, but this has been Into the Breach. If you like it, check it out. Link will be in the description. If you liked the video, uh, you can like it <laughs> or not. Uh, and if you want to see more of it, you can subscribe. Yes, obviously you can. Uh, Thank you for checking it out. Thank you for watching to the end. I really, really appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun with this game, and I'm going to continue to, I believe. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.